the time has come and I told you I would never do this again and of course I am. That's why I tell you after I do a subscription type video whenever I say I won't do it again take that with a grain of salt because I probably will. So or here. I um, have been getting very jealous because my coworker loves Stitch Fix and I am like every time I do it I don't like it. I don't love it. My stylist doesn't know me so I don't do it. Um, but she's been loving all of her boxes and I was like, I feel like I wanna try it again and to actually do it with a trunk club and do like a trunk club versus Stitch Fix and then compare them. Completely different companies, but same exact concept. I told both stylists the exact same things. I want casuals, I want tops, I want stuff that I can wear to San Francisco on vacation. So we'll see if and what they ended up following through with. I feel like on Stitch Fix, it never ends up being what I want. But I'm gonna go into this very open-minded and my stylists change all the time. So it really probably just depends on who's putting the box together. Let's go into Stitch Fix. I don't know why I have a really hard time buying tops that I like. So that's why I kind of wanted them to focus in on it. So I have the cards. I won't read this until after because I don't like knowing the prices beforehand. It's just like a game I like playing with myself. So right inside the box, packaged really well. Never have an issue with them. The first thing I'm pulling out is this white chiffon pink top and it's a little bit longer in length. I don't think that I'm gonna like the sleeves on this because they cut in a weird area. I have like bigger arms so like when it cuts at the biggest part I just feel insecure. But this is a super adorable tank top. That is very, very cute. And it's a Stitch Fix exclusive by Daniel Rain. This is a brand I believe I see at TJ Maxx a lot. Really cute design. If this looks good, I'm gonna keep it. And then we have, is this a maxi dress or a maxi skirt? A maxi, oh this is so cute. It's just like a Grecian type maxi dress. I used to have a lot of these in my closet and I don't have any anymore. Um, I had lost weight and just never repurchased because I had them in size larges and larges are a little too big for me. But yeah, this is, I hope this fits my length because I'm pretty short, but I love this. And it's in a size medium, which is what I would have purchased. That's cute. I'll have to a really good start. And then we have, oh, this is cute. This is just a tank top. It's geometric, very flowy. It's um, kind of thicker, so I feel like I'd wear pasties with this and not feel like it's gonna be see-through. And it's in a size medium by Cooper and Ella. Cooper is my nephew's name. I hope these prices aren't really expensive because I'm actually liking this. Um, and then this is definitely confusing. One, I can't tell if the sleeves are just not pulled out. Oh, yeah, this is a sweater. I was like, is this a short sleeve sweater? I don't need this. I am actually very stocked up on sweaters, so I'm gonna tell you now I will not keep this. But I do love the color, and I did tell her like, camel is my favorite color to wear. So she did listen, and it's in a size medium by RD Style. But I don't need any winter clothing right now. And the very last thing are a pair of jeans. Jeans are so hard because I am shorter, um, and I'm like in between sizes. But like a size 6 is typically what I wear, and this is a size 6. They look like they should be fine. They're just stretched in them, but I don't know if the length is gonna work. I don't actually like these jeans. I don't like the whiskering on them. Jeans, they are $78. So I usually spend like $40 on jeans. $68 for the sweater. I think if it were winter, I'd be a little more interested in like trying that on. The tank top is this is $88 for this tank top, so <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, you are going back where you came from. Please be not too expensive. $68, oh, and the brand skies are blue. I didn't tell you guys that. Well, hopefully I just don't love it when I try it on. That's the problem with like these boxes. You're more inclined to keep stuff even though you don't for sure like you need it type of thing like it's a very much a convenience service so like when it's already in your house you're more like like well i guess i'll keep it like it's already here i don't know i don't know if i'm the only one that feels like that um, and then lastly the blouse is 68 dollars okay 
onto trunk club and then I'll do a try on don't worry so if I bought everything it would be $295 oh oh what wait wait I'm missing something I ordered a bralette I did I ordered they had an extra add-in service and I ordered a bralette so I hope it's in the bottom I just didn't see it maybe Okay, so this is by Free People, and I see this everywhere, and I wanted to try it, and this is not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so it's just, oh, this is so cute. It's just very lacy. So it's just this really adorable bralette, and it looks actually very large, because it has a stretch in the back, but it's already kind of wide. Um, it doesn't have any padding in the boobs. I, for some reason, thought it was going to. This would look really cute under my tank top now. I have been really wanting this. I should have got a size small because we'll see. I haven't tried it on yet. Okay, so if I had purchased everything, it would be $295, which actually, looking at everything, that's not a super bad price, but I know I'm not gonna like everything, so I'm never gonna spend that much. And then I had the $20 styling fee, which they already took out of my account, so I feel like I need to just, no. I'm not doing that mindset anymore. Usually I'd be like, I need to keep one item, maybe the bralette. But I'm not going to spend $68 just to keep the, or get the $20 shipping credit credited towards an outfit, which is what I used to do. Okay, anyways, I'm rambling on to Trunk Club. Like I said, I asked for the exact same stuff. I don't have to pay a styling fee for Trunk Club because I have a Nordstrom card, so I get to bypass that. Every time I order it, like, it's free no matter if I keep anything or not, which I really do appreciate that. Although Stitch Fix does have... If you pay $50, you get free styling services for the year, and then they'll credit that $50 back. I don't know if that's only for certain, like, customers or, like, a limited time only thing, but I did see that when I was on there. And I almost did it, but I was like, no. I don't usually keep anything to so I'm not going to, like, get that service. So, okay. They gave, like, a Home Chef coupon. We're not looking at that. This is so jammed loaded. The first thing is by Texture and Thread. And Trunk Club lets you do a preview, and I, I think I remember this being in it. This is just a little wrap tie tank dress. It's very cute. I love the color. Again, I was like camel. I love it. Um, okay, number one. And then the next thing is, I feel like this is an off the shoulder. Is this a bodysuit? Oh, it's, no, it's just a little, a little crappy toppy. <laughs> didn't even rhyme that. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't love tight stuff on me. It's by Reformation. I love that brand. I haven't actually owned anything from it. I just love the models when I see them wearing the clothes. <laughs> um, and then this mustard color is cute. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so those three things I for sure already saw. This is just a top. I really liked this um, when she showed me in the preview. And I was like, I can see myself wearing that. The only thing is, like, I've been getting rid of all my off-the-shoulder tops because I don't love the way I look in them. But maybe that one will be different. And then she, oh, she sent me a pair of sunglasses. In the preview, I was like, I don't want any sunglasses. Um, but maybe she was just like, Assuming I just didn't like the price of the hundred dollar pair she sent me. That was not it. I just don't love buying sunglasses. I get like really cheap nine dollar ones. These are by Way, and I loved a pair that Whitney Simmons had. Is this okay? The weird thing about Trunk Club is I think they know my. I think they have access to my phone. I know that's really crazy to say, but I'm almost positive they ac they have access to my phone because sometimes they'll send me things that I screenshot that are in my pictures and that's the only place they're in and like some of the stuff I saw at a different store took a photo of and then she sent it to me and I know for sure I did not look it up online because I know some of you're like well what if it was like your google analytics type stuff no I think she literally has access to my photos which is kind of creepy but I don't have anything crazy on there um these are really cute these are probably super expensive so like them but if I know way they're probably like $65 I'll put those back and then I have a pair of shorts 
These were not in the preview either where those other hoods are. Actually, this is, a, no, this is a skirt. This is by Madewell and it looks a little see-through, but that is cute. It's just a white denim skirt. I've never purchased anything from Madewell either. Why do I have this on my lap? Let me put it down. Oh, that's better. And another Madewell top. This is just a button down that is very cute. I can see myself wearing this with the skirt she sent me. Oh, this is gonna be so messy. Oh, this is on the preview and I really loved the little details at the bottom and the color she originally sent me white and I was like, I'm gonna try blue. That's cute, I hope I like that. The goal is to get some shirts, you guys. And then she sent me a pair of Madewell jeans. Oh, I like these. These are high-waisted and they are a nine inch high waist skinny crop. So I feel like that actually looks like it might fit me lengthwise. And I really like the color and my earring just fell off. Okay, and then I have this dress. This is so cute. I love the stripes on this. This is by Rain River, Moon River and it's just a linen fabric. I feel like I'm gonna like that one a lot. Um, and then a purse. I do not need this, but I had plenty of photos in my phone and also in Google search history. Um, yeah, I'm sure. And I think everyone else wants this. This is really cute. I bought a kind of similar bag to this already, so I don't need another one, but yeah, she knows my style, that's for sure. Here are some what are these? Treasure and Bond. I feel like I saw these at Nordstrom Rack, but I'm not positive. Um, they're just little clogs. These are cute. This, <laughs> this one I have had in my Nordstrom cart for a while, and I've just never purchased it. And I'm glad she sent it because I haven't ever seen them in person. Um, I feel like she definitely has access to my Nordstrom cart, which is perfectly fine with me. But these are so cute. These are just by Tom's. And then if you can tell, like that's just cardboard there. Oh, I, I love these. And I think they were on sale last time I looked in my cart. So I'm hoping that they're on sale on the card she sent, which I'll look at it now. But I like doing with Anthony is making him guess how much everything is. So I'll probably do that later. <laughs> if, uh, oh, they don't add up. I was gonna say, if I bought everything, this is how much it would be. Probably like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like $400. Um, I have a $25 styling fee credited towards purchase. I didn't know I had that. Um, $25 is not going to cover anything in here. Oh my gosh, the Madewell jeans were $135. This dress was $75. The skirt was $80. The shirt was $74. The embroidered tank was $39. The mules were $79. The off the shoulder reformation top was 48 which is the cheapest out of everything it was just like a crop top basic um the off the shoulder orange no yellow top was 89 dollars the basket crossbody was 84 dollars the tom sandals were 73.99 i feel like that's less than what they were originally but i don't know if that was less than what they were in my cart last time i saw but i might have been just like a sale for like a limited time only i'll look before i purchase them and then lastly the sunglasses were 50 so whew. prices were a little more expensive in nordstrom you're getting a little higher end brands um but then again they're kind of on par with the prices that i just pulled on my stitch fix now that i'm thinking about it other than the jeans were definitely a step above in price so i hope i don't love them but maybe i will leave me in the comments below what you thought if you've tried either subscription which one you like the most i'm personally leaning still towards liking trunk club more and i feel like my stylist listens to me a little more but i know i've done stitch fix enough times to know like i just don't think that they have as much stuff probably to listen to me if that makes sense um so yeah that's my opinion I love the idea of subscription services, especially when I personally don't like going to the stores and trying stuff on as much. I just usually, I have like a body dysmorphia. I don't love a lot of stuff on me and then going in the store like and getting frustrated isn't exactly ideal. So 
being here at home trying stuff on, I'm more likely to actually put more thought into it. By the same time when it comes here, I'm actually more likely to keep stuff. So I don't know. It's kind of a win, lose, lose, I don't situation. I'm rambling. I love you guys. I'll link both subscriptions down below. I know a lot of people that like Stitch Fix. I just, I think Trunk Club wins for me. I'm going to head out and I will see you guys super soon. Another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and I will see you very soon. Bye.